<laughs> YouTubers, Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin's channel. Travelers who refuse hotel quarantine will soon face larger fines. Yep, you heard it here, folks. It is posted uh, today at 8.42 in the morning. Now, we have an issue here. Texas has basically shut, like, basically reopened Florida. A lot of places have reopened for a while now. And cases don't mean death. People, like, it's like you're getting diagnosed with something. It doesn't mean you're going to die. Cases don't mean deaths in this whole lockdown scenario we are in right now, right? Toronto, instead of acting on an advisory panel's recommendation to end the mandatory quarantine hotel program for those flying into Canada, the federal government is increasing the penalty for those who choose to skip it. The government says tickets issued by police for violations of the Quarantine Act will carry the maximum $5,000 as of Friday. That's 67% increase from $3,000 fine that, that is currently in place. Now, hold on a sec. This is, this is not... So don't panic. If you're watching this and depending on what country you're coming from, this only applies to Canadians that leave, that want to take a vacation or go see family and have to come back in. A lot of Canadians that have left recently are not coming back. Uh, we had a huge layoffs in 2020 during the height of this thing. We, we got a layoff of about 3,000 nurses and several hundred doctors. And now they're looking at closing rural hospitals in parts of Canada which is usually what's been happening. We kind of see the patterns here. Now, a lot of these professional workers, they're just getting headhunted or they're just going down to the States because they could go to Alabama and still buy a house for under 150 grand with the pool. Where in Canada, if you want anything with the pool, you're looking at a minimum $800,000. So that is the issue right here. So what people are starting to see right now, what's going on. So I'm thinking that this is more of a ploy where people are going to go out and look and start scouting for jobs outside of Canada, it's going to make them harder for them to come back in. I have a gentleman, that a very close friend of mine from China, who emailed me and told me that his aunt owns about 55 properties here in British Columbia. Uh, and uh, she came on a tour bus uh, not long ago, okay? And she came, flew here, got on a tour bus, and then uh, from the tour bus, took her to the hotel, the hotel would take people to go look at properties in the interior to buy them up. And he told me that she she had no quarantine. She was here for six days and she left. So it depends on like where you're coming from. If you're coming to invest in Canada, I don't think they're going to hassle uh, investors to come up and buy our property. I don't think Canada would do that. I don't think Canada would risk doing that, especially with Hong Kong and bringing in billions of dollars. I don't think none of these people stayed in, in a hotel for 14 days, right? So now you got to remain in quarantine until you have, now hold on a sec. You need to remain in quarantine until you have a negative test now. It's no more 14 days. You could remain in quarantine indefinitely if your test keeps going back negatives. And we know how unaccurate some of these tests are, right? So there it is. Some travelers have been choosing to pay the $3,000 rather than submit to the quarantine process, which involves taking the COVID-19 test at the airport and then staying in a hotel for 72 hours and waiting for the results at a personal cost of up to $2,000. The Public Health Agency of Canada says that 798 fines were issued between February 22nd and May 7th for refusal to quarantine in a hotel, 606 in Ontario and 192 in British Columbia. It does not have any records of fines. So look, 192... So, I mean, you know how many people are coming into Canada since 2020, like since 2019? It does not have any records of fines being issued in Quebec, Alberta, and other two provinces where international flights are still permitted to land. Federal advisory panel recommended last week that the quarantine hotel requirement uh, cease in part uh, because of the number of travelers who are choosing to take the fine and skip the hotel. The recommendation to end mandatory hotel quarantine has the backing of the airline industry. The government's response was more lukewarm with Health uh, Minister Patty Hajdu saying that uh, she would consult with the provincial counterparts before making any decisions about relaxing restri restrictions. The government says that more than 99% of all travelers comply with regulations. So 99% are complying and they're good citizens so that's what's happening right there so uh but this you need to understand that this hotel thingy whatever they're doing does not it, it's it's in diff different pockets you need to like look into see 
if you're coming into Canada, what country you're coming from and find out if it is. Uh, for foreign investing, if you're a foreign investor coming in from China, I don't think this applies to you because I'm hearing from multiple people and emails from multiple sources that people come in here, buy 20 units or 20 condominiums, get on a plane and go back home. They don't even, and some of them buy them over the phone, but I'm saying like people that have been coming in, I don't think Canada would want to hinder um, the foreign investing because it, it does play a big part of our GDP, right? Of Canada's GDP is selling ho uh, homes to wealthy investors. So it's something to look at here on, you know, what they're, comment below if you know, comment below if you really know who is, is it everyone coming into Canada? Because I'm hearing from people that even work at the air, like there's no, nothing. Like I had a friend in 2020 that couldn't fly, that, that was in Bogota, Colombia. I said this story before, and he needed to come to, to, Vanc to, into the interior of BC. He couldn't come because he used to usually lands in Dallas. Is it Dallas? I think he lands in Dallas, and then from Dallas he goes to, to Vancouver. Or is it Austin? No, it's Dallas. So then instead, he had to go from Bogota, Johannesburg, South Africa, Johannesburg, South Africa, Sydney, Australia, Sydney, Australia, to Shanghai, and then Shanghai to Vancouver, and he wasn't even checked when he arrived. So it, it depends where you're coming from, right, or how to get back in the country. Like, depends what route you take. Let me know what, what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. God bless and stay strong. And uh, I have spoken.